Hi friends, today we're going to talk about using the expanded form strategy when subtracting. Okay, 35 take away 12. Let's write 35 in expanded form. That 3 is in the tens column, it represents 30. And that 5 is in the ones column, it's just 5. When we're writing in expanded form, we need to add the addition symbol in between the numbers. This 1 is in the tens column, it represents 1, 10. And that 2 is still 2. Great, let's subtract our tens. 30 take away 10. Then we can put that addition symbol there because the subtraction is taking place within the parentheses. Now our ones, five, take away two. That leaves us with 20 and three for a final difference of 23. Let's do another example. Let's write 87 in expanded form. That eight represents eight tens or 80 and that seven is seven. That two represents 20 and that six is still six. Let's subtract our tens. 80 take away 20 and 7 take away 6. That leaves us with 60 and 1 for a final difference of 61. Let's do one final example using hundreds. Okay, that 4 is in the hundreds column. It represents 400. That 1 is in the tens column. It represents 110 or just 10. And that 4 is still 4. That three is in the hundreds column, it's 300. This one is again in the tens column, it represents 10, and that two is two. Remember your addition symbol when writing in expanded form. Okay, now let's subtract our hundreds. 400, take away 300. Then our tens column, 10, take away 10. And our ones, four, take away two. Good, that leaves us with 100. 10 take away 10 is zero. And four take away two is two for a final difference of 102. I hope this video helps you understand how you can use the expanded form when subtracting.